In today's gaming news, Blizzard plans to debut something new at PAX East, Ooh yeah, ships this March, Sniper Elite Nazi Zombie Army is now available, and Assassin's Creed 4 is revealed. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. It is Friday, March the 1st, and my name is Force, here with today's gaming news. First up today, Blizzard will be revealing something new at this year's PAX East, at which point they'll be all set to get married, as they already have something borrowed and something blue. In a press release sent out yesterday, Blizzard revealed that they will be announcing a new game at PAX East in Boston next month. In the email, they said, We've been working on a little something different from our other games. It's not a sequel, expansion, or the rumored next-gen MMO, but it's something we're excited for you to get your hands on. The current assumption is that they'll be revealing Blizzard All-Stars, which used to be known as Blizzard Dota before that legal battle with Valve. If you don't know, Blizzard All-Stars is basically a MOBA game with Blizzard franchised units. So think about playing the Witch Doctor from Diablo 3 or Thrall from Warcraft in a Dota-style game. That's essentially what we're expecting here. And although this is something we already know about, I think the reveal is going to be the fact that this will be a separate title, not part of StarCraft 2, which was the original plan. This is something that they are looking to make free to play, so they might be releasing it on their own, and I'm thinking that's what the reveal will be. Next up in news, Ouya consoles will begin shipping this March, at which point you'll finally be able to play Angry Birds on your TV. The Android-based gaming console Ouya will begin shipping on March 28th to anyone who backed the Kickstarter project. It was announced that several games are currently in development for the system, including Papa EO, The Ball, Chronoblade, and an exclusive title from the developers of Quantum Conundrum. The retail launch of Ouya will be happening this June at a price point of $99. Now, the Ouya console can in fact play a lot more than just phone games, it's just an Android-based device. Through their streaming service, we're actually going to play some legitimate titles on this $99 console. It's an exciting time, and I am looking forward to seeing what they can push out and what this thing can potentially play. It certainly could be a new wave in the next generation. Next up in news, Sniper Elite Nazi Zombie Army is now available. Because dealing with Hitler once wasn't enough, now he's back as a zombie. Nazi Zombie Army is a standalone expansion in the Sniper Elite series. The game supports up to four player co op as you and your friends are tasked with defending Europe from an invading army of undead super soldiers. The game is now available via Steam for $14.99, or if you're feeling generous, you can purchase the four pack for $44.97 and give copies to three of your friends. So I took a look at Sniper Elite Nazi Zombie Army yesterday and I made a first 40 video on it. My initial impressions are. Eh, I'm not too impressed with the game, it got fairly repetitive, but I also just played it single player. From what I can tell, the multiplayer basically just adds more zombies and makes the experience more difficult. Whether it's going to be a ton more fun and make it much of a better game, it's hard to say. At the same time though, it only costs 15 bucks, so it's not too much of a loss. Be sure to check out that video if you're interested in the game. Once again, it was a first 40 look at Sniper Elite Nazi Zombie Army. And last up in news today, Assassin's Creed 4 has been revealed, and it's looking great. I was supposed to sound like a pirate, not Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Ubisoft has announced Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, the latest installment in the Assassin's Creed franchise. The game will take place in the Caribbean during the era of pillaging and plundering, and introduces a new pirate-slaying protagonist. Black Flag will be coming to 360, PS3, PC, and Wii U on October 29th, with the PS3 version getting 60 minutes of exclusive content. So it's another Assassin's Creed game, this time it's set in the Caribbean and you're playing as a pirate-slaying assassin. Woohoo! I don't know if it's just me, but I'm getting really tired of sequels. And this reminds me yet again why I'm so excited for the next generation of consoles, because it means a fresh start, and hopefully a lot more new IPs. Now what I want to know from you guys today is, what do you think about the fact that Assassin's Creed 4 is coming out this fall, off the heels of Assassin's Creed 3, which got lukewarm responses. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Alright guys, that is going to do it for today's episode of the show. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Force, and you have just been Force Fed. As a follow-up to his best-selling novel, Mein Kampf, Adolf Hitler is releasing Mein Afterlife, the story of his trials and tribulations as a zombie. You can pick it up on Amazon now for $66.60. 60